and welcome back folks to Divinity Original Sin. We are currently in the library in Sicil and we are going to talk to this gentleman right here. Amis Adam Amia Dimasis Kum. What? What is this? Who are you to interrupt my musings? My Naga, uh, the protector, they ha have the manners of boars, these boat boatmen of Sicil. Oh, but perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps I was mistaken, for you hardly resemble a local fisherman, fisher folk. Which, incidentally, is a compliment of copious dimensions, indeed. No, a source hunter, that is what you are, yes? A stalker of sorcerers? Sorceries? Sorceries? Yeah. A chaser of charms preminous? Preminous? Uh, in truth, I cannot go so far as to say it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, for I take no pleasure in the company of man. But it may just be our mutual advantage to join forces nonetheless. Why would you want to join forces? Why, simply because you uh, hunt source and I, Jahan, hunt demons. You are aware, of course, that often, uh, that often both of these pests frequent the same shadowy pools of infamy. Now I hate that I hunt, but I respect its cunning. Uh, should I hate what I hunt, but I respect its cunning? Should I not? I'd be, uh, I'd have been decimated bodies and souls long since. Uh, this is a sentiment I'll quite certainly you must recognize. Let this be a strength and cunning, yes. Also, uh, but also in numbers, the calculus of wizardries is I offer you. The might of a magician's mastermind. In one condition, that our joint travels we will never deal with demonic entities, no matter how tempting their proposals. Give me your word on this, and I will weave you spells. Hmm. I don't like to make promises that I will not be able to keep. Um... I don't like making promises. I don't. Uh, I was uh, inclined to. Uh, yeah, she she would agree with that, Jahan. So I was inclined to agree with Jahan, but uh, it would appear my colleague and I are not of the same mind. Oh, simple souls! Oh, doomed spirits! What tangled webs you'd weave! But I wouldn't be a uh, fly to be caught in them. Be gone. Reflect. And if you should see the light, the light, I will be here in the library. For now, you are not worthy of my devotion. Bye. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to Victoria. Again. Um. Let's go ahead Bye. and head out. Let's talk to her. Greetings. Source hunters. Oh, what a sight for sore Sicilian eyes. Uh, is this the wife? I think this is the wife. Okay, tell me about yourself. Me, I live alone here in town. Used to be, uh... That my younger brother Tom and I were practical joining at a hip. Well, that's all changed now. What happened to your brother Tom? He's always been something of a rascal, calling him petty hoogalism, adventuring, and eless worrying for my poor mind. Of course, I've always loved that scamp to bits. For my part, I encouraged him to join the Legion. Even got him sparring with Captain Arturius now and then. But then those blasted famous five came into town. What band of... I don't know. I even know what to call them. Well, they're his heroes. I could simply couldn't prevent him from going to see them. That one meeting was all it took for Tom to run off with them for some mission to God knows where. Bye. Hmm. Okay. No, this isn't the... Um... Let's go ahead and talk to her. Greetings. Source hunters, eh? Right proper, we're finally getting the hand things in this chaos. If you've got, uh, if you've got a favorable sheep, uh, try best try to fry them up before she gets thieved in the night. Like my poor plump Hawkins. Okay. Buy us in my herd. About your stolen sheep. Tell me about yourself. 
Uh, now that that's where the herd's gone. Poor us just snatched by my like a hen till the next batches of beasties come through. Well, uh, where's your herd? I recently sold them to Tender Loves to the traders heading north. Plenty of business that away these days. Those miners j must be preparing for a mighty great feast. Uh, wish I could have a nibble on my dear darling all ground and spice. Tell me about your stolen sheep. This old Hoggins uh, been missing for s more than a fortnight. Uh, I love that sheep and you know I plan to cook her <laughs> into a fine mid is Hoggins myself. Do you tell me if you hear anything about her? I plan to pursue whoever stole her with my cleaver in hand. Do you have any work for a trio of sellers? Sorry, can't help you there. Haven't got enough livestock left to warrant a hand with work. Bye. Okay, so... Let's keep going. We need to go and find the... Um, what should we call it? We need to find the captain of the guard. Nope, nope, nothing there. Sure, we'll take that. Anything there, anything here. Nope, okay. Let's keep rolling. You don't think it's infected, do you? Oh, come on now. I pulled her off you before she could do any real damage. Hey, who's that? Come on, then. Stand where I good I can see you. Easy tool. Uh, thru uh, throol. That's source hunters you're talking to here. A curious situation you got here. Is the woman in a cage under arrest? She may have a look of a woman uh, if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. Got reports of a strange looking outsider sulking around the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouching behind a tree taking aim at a fat old rat trying <coughs> excuse me. Among the city walls. I tra I tapped her on the shoulder to see what she was, and the beast startled like a bog cat and lunged at me. Bit truly right in the face she did. Uh it wasn't pretty, and now I've got a chunk of chunk ripped off to boot. Enjoy it while you can, Burn. There's not enough legionnaires in a cohort that will have you if you go rabid. <laughs> uh, what will become of this amid stranger? Well, that's to be decided. She hasn't seen, uh, she doesn't seem to be sick despite Tully's moanings. She can't keep, uh, we can't keep her for here forever, but we can't uh, well send her into the wilds again, can we? Perhaps it'd be worth it if I talk to the stranger, uh, take her under the wing. she likely come in handy if we trust her to watch our backs. Uh, we're here for Source Hunter, not babysitting. Uh, let's see here, we could use a ranger. Perhaps it'd be worth taking the stranger under our wing. After all, a fearless hunter might prove useful in our investigation. Relief, isn't it? Uh, truly. Heed me, Source Hunters. She's not good for uh, anything more than cannon fire. And don't turn your back on her when she's got that bone within arm's reach. Bye. So just talk to her. As you say, uh, you will take me under your wing. But I see no feathers. Are you a child of a bird as I am of the bears? Uh, I meant that I would be responsible for you, uh, that I would keep you out of trouble. Uh, a child of the bear, what does that mean exactly? And so the lonely babe was fed upon a wild mother's milk, and cast aside for humankind she thrived among her mother's ilk. So says the sage of Thuros, do you know it? Uh, the wise wolf, uh, god wolf, Amura, raised the child Thuros under her litter. She thrived and grew into a great protector of her forest. So you see, I have good company, Thress the wolf son, and I am far right, don't. I meant that I would be responsible for you, and I would keep you out of trouble. In truth, this is a relief. Uh, your world is made of rules that I have not uh, memorized. I am happy to have a friend in such a place. All right. 
Um, I'll take my leaf. Okay, let's talk to her. Star Center, I've heard tales both grand and terrible about your world of humans. I myself was caged uh, one moment and freed the next by your kind. In home forest, every creature acts according to its nature of its A nature of its kind. Birds frighten easily, badgers fear little. But among men, there are no guarantees. Uh, there's a little more in our uh, more valuable in the minds of. There's little in our world more var variable than the minds of men. Uh, it is the source of great beauty and much despair, and all of it is uniquely human. This I have noticed. We are unpredictable species, as is likely to kill as to heal. It's best to be wary of those you meet uh, for this very reason. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that. Um, yes, as you notice, uh, we are unpredictable species. Oh. Um. See if Natara agrees with us. Uh, she would assume that we were more civilized. We are. We may be unpredictable, but it serves one better to hope for the best than to assume the worst. Like, uh, like it attracts like, after all. It's strange to stand on one foot of the forest and the other in the city, Source Hunter. I'm glad that now I have you to stand beside me, even if it. Even if one burns hot while the other uh, wheezes cold. Perhaps in time I will come to know. Uh, perhaps in time I will come to know my own kind as you have, and perhaps then I will decide for myself whether ours is a noble kind. Sorry, sir. All right, and just go ahead and take this. See if there's anything else. Um, let's send this to Baradot. Get and we actually, ha oh yeah, we got the sword. Is it two-handed? Equip. Equip. Actually, two-handed fighters. Have her equip this. Oh wow, she needs everything. Let's go ahead and put that there. Um, 7 to 18. 9 to 20. We'll go ahead and give that to her. 9 to 22. We'll equip that. There we go. Alright, let's go talk to the captain of the guard. Pretty sure he's in here. Let's talk to him. Greetings! What have we here, a so-called source hunter? Huh? Blah, look. Do you, uh, do what you must in Sysil, but don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, do you hear? I have enough on my mind running expeditions into hostile territory. Let's discuss Jake's murder. Gods above, some politicians uh, sniffs in and everyone is in an uproar. Oh, uh, snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar. Uh, ridiculous, I told the wizard Brett of Armour, Armour, uh not to bother, but he has to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians. They see pigeon poop and think sorcery is afoot. Nonetheless, I want it to be kept in the loop, understand? I am in command of this town, not Mayor uh, Cecile, not Amut, uh, and definitely not some hotshot source hunters. So investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined. But report to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab's Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you. Alright, just go ahead and leave. So Bye. let's go ahead and deal with this situation. Um, so the King Crab Inn. Let's go ahead and find the King Crab Inn. Did we pass it up? Uh, we might have passed it up. To the barracks! March! Recruits! That was sloppier than Sicilian stew. Alright, so we will... Can you spare a coin? Go ahead and head off in this direction. We 
are looking for a rooster. Okay. We have to actually enter the building in order to figure out what's going on in there. So just go ahead and go in here. See what this place is. Esmeralda's shop. Okay. We are looking for the Queen King Crab Inn. A quiet day King the Crab Inn. Oh, there we go. King Crab Inn. There we go. You there, a moment of your indulgence, if you please. You are a source hunter, are you not? The hero of the whole Cecil is a buzz about it. And talk of the town, the juiciest grape of the vine. Uh, such a pleasure to meet you, a delight. Let's see here, can you sell... Let's see if we can sell junk to him. Sure. Sure. Um. Sure, we'll take it. I accept your offer. Oh, God. So, let's see here. No, scratch that. It would be most, uh, more, uh, much more than a delight. It is an intervention of fate. Yes, that is it. Fate has put me on this very spot so I can tell you about the most intriguing opportunity indeed. Uh, not worried about the undead out and about? They call the undead a problem, my friend, but those who know the ways of the Fabius Five see no problems. They see opportunities. Uh, enterprising spirit uh, can wrench what uh, riches from the cold dead rocks or from the cold dead full stop who are you uh Metherius, at your service uh that is my profession well i'll tell you uh what i used to be and that is a man of medicine but uh what does a man of medicine do uh but men what was first uh what has first been broken i saved lives to be sure but today i changed them uh, tell me what opportunities you mention. And it's not merely an opportunity, it's a once in a lifetime chance. Oh god. Uh, better uh, to become a full extent and promise uh, is locked inside of each and every one of us. So first off, let me ask you this question. Do you like adventure? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? I'm playing an adventure game. Uh, she would be... Uh, some could not because they are professionals, not adventuring daydreamers. Clearly, two strong personalities stand before me. Two whose voice their opinion with vi vigor as uh, when they differ. What else could I expect from such source hunters? Too bad your line of work comes with such measly re recompense. Am I right? The wages of mere soldiers. Now, between you and me, tell me truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you could earn more? Hmm. Well, uh, riches not exactly interest me. It's more the adventurer. Really? I don't mind earning some extra pennies here and there. Really? <laughs> I don't mind any of the... Okay. Haha, <laughs> don't quarrel about it on my account. Still... If the uh, matter is div divisive, it is divisive mainly because it is alluring. The riches are so very alluring. Even so, my friend, matters of, of a prehensile nature aside, uh, that is a life without variety, without spice. To be a source hunter must be frightfully dreary sometimes, am I right? All of those orders, investigating this, retrieving that. And at the end of the day, what do you have to show for it? Wouldn't you prefer to call your own shots to be your own boss? Um, I'm going to be a soldier. There's no shame in following uh, directiveness. If your masters are worthy of your trust. Uh, she's going to be more independent. Uh, there's no shame. Um, 
I always stay mental with that attitude. Just when those trusted masters want it. <laughs> you disagree with one another. <laughs> but that proves you are firm-willed. That you have the minds of independence, not dependence. Admittedly, life's too short to spend it doing someone else's bidding, am I right? Of course I am. And I could... Wait a second. Am I going to follow your orders? Yeah. Yeah, about that. And acting the ch uh, change is your deserve. And that is exactly why I'm here. Why fate has put me here right in the doors of the King Crab so that I can meet you and tell you about the marvel that is the Fabulous Five. Invitation to join is yours. Grab it. Tell me about this Tom fellow. Who, Tom? Doesn't ring a bell. Oh, hold on. Yes, Tom. One of those most recent additions to the Fellowship. Brave kid. Smart as a tech. He'd prove to be a wonderful addition to the family yet. Okay, I'll take my leave. Interesting. It didn't answer my question. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to the Duke. Uh, let's see what he's got on him. He's got three gold, fire resistance, one head to axe. You'd think he'd have more on him. Oh, hello, I suppose you're here to uh, viciously interrogate me for information I don't have, like our noble Captain Varus before you. Tell me about yourself. I'm the Duke of Furl, though I suppose my name is in the mouth of enough uh, ruthless gospers that you have heard me now. Right, I'll take my leave. Five, three. Back, devil. Uh, back, I say, or I'll split you from navel to beak. Oh ho ho, Medora. You're jumpy lumbox. Navel to beak, you, she says. A thousand pardons, comrade, when you have been bashing cr skulls for as long as old bear. It's easy to mistake every grudge and just as a deadly gasp at source. Uh, Cyclopsery. Cyclopus? Now, uh -uh. how about a proper introduction? Let's um, keep our voices down, shall we? One can never tell where the enemy lays eyes and ears. What do you mean by the enemy? Hell spells, comrade. Keep your voice down. Do you want every Thaddeus, Rich, and Harold to know our private business? Anyone with these shifty eyes, drunkards, could well be a source spy. Now then, I'll explain to you. Like, like you, I'm here to sniff out the uh, annihilate the source threat. A source hunter is in spirit and deed, if no longer my title. Hmm. My Medora, uh, uh, the name. My hand is your cause, and my sword is at your side. The order retired this little old lady to a sleepy town a bit north of here, but no rocking chair could keep a horn, uh, born and bred source hunter from such a f uh, frightening investigation of dark magic. A counselor's murder, Medora, for one, won't rest until the fiend is caught. On that subject, I could use someone to cover my back. What with source demons lurking under every loose floorboard in the city, it does without saying that you could use another stout uh, heart and experienced sword by your side. Um, what evidence in, uh, of, of source have you found? Have you found thus far? Evidence? Look around you, comrade. It's fairly uh, steep in every crevice in town. There's... Mayor Cecile Theron, the feline miss, who, uh, to name, to, f what? Feline menace, to name a few of many hundreds. Tell me about the, um, feline menace. <laughs> yes, perhaps the gravest peril is threatening Cecile. Did you know those, uh, bewhiskered friends can see clear as day in the blackest of night? Dark dwelling schemers all. Cats? Interesting. Uh, tell me about the mare. A more obvious source uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. I never had the misfortune to meet a black guard deaf as a brick, but <laughs> it's nothing to do with his age. He's uh, like all Cecile to believe. Though I'm certain si Cecile lost his hearing to a blotch dealing with his censors of the south many elder folks all fall victim to their wilds uh, she collects their f uh, fuckies, uh, uh, 
faculties. Uh, eyesight, hearing, sense of smell, and memory, and in turn grants them a few more years of life. Why, my own mother woke blind as a mole one day and tried to blame the whole affair on a cataract. <laughs> She's a bit crazy. Uh, she even got a local healer through barbary and coercion, no doubt, to vouch for her little tale. Uh, let's change the subject. I'll take my leave. <laughs> You're a bit crazy, ain't you? Although you can't speak to cats. Well, well, we'll we'll see, we'll see. Um, we're going to stop it right here. I'll see you folks in the next video. All right, bye.